Hey, so today we're doing a uh, additional um, uh, SSD into PS5. That's the SSD. It also needs this heat sink, um, and here's the PS5 um, in pieces. So I'm looking at the instructions on the screen, and what it says is use a Phillips number one to open up the expansion slot, which I'll do now, thusly. That's clearly not good instructions because all the screwdriver's in the wrong place because it is definitely a Phillips number two. There we go. <laughs> the instructions are wrong. <laughs> so it's a Phillips number two. So we open that up. And then inside here, that'll come out. It's magnetic, that's why. So inside here, is a slot for the new hard drive, see? And this is the new hard drive, so we'll unbox this now. So, um, see how the best way to unbox that is. This side it looks like, I think it's got some tape on it. So you always need to make sure you ground yourself. The Mac monitors are grounded, so there you go. That disperses any electricity. And let's see what this new hard drive looks like. It looks like that. So the first thing we've got to do before we put it in is put the heat sink on. This keeps it nice and cool and stops it from overheating. So I've already checked the compatibility of these parts to make sure that they'll work together. Making a right pig's ear of this box. This certainly isn't going back if it's faulty. I don't like opening boxes though, I'm not an unboxer. So there's the heat sink. It's very heavy. And uh, what I now need to do is figure out how to fit it on uh, so that it, it fits in place. So we'll stop the video there. That's the heat sink, that's the SSD, and we might do a part two. So we're back with part two of how to install an upgraded uh, M2 SSD into a Sony PS5. So here's our crucial uh, four terabyte M2 SSD, ultra fast. So it's got a little screw in there, so we need to make sure we don't lose that when we open it, because that's obviously going to happen. So we open it very carefully and make sure we keep this screw super safe. And now make sure we're grounded again. Now we take out the SSD and we slide it into this, this way, into the SSD port on the PS5. to make sure we get the right place. There it is. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do to see. It looks like it just pushes in. But in actual fact, I can see a notch there. That's where it goes in. Okay, that's in. So now we put the spacer back in. It goes there. Oh no, we don't need a spacer for this one. Lost it anyway. We just need to use the new screw. Well, that screw is not the right type, is it? Okay, so now we've put the SSD in place and the heat sink is now on top. So all we need to do is use the new supplied screw to screw down the new heat sink to cover the new SSD. There we go, that's tight. So the final job, I've cleaned it out of dust as well. On here, look, uh, 
there's all these sort of hooks on here. So all you do is you put this back on here and then push it down and slide it. So now, if you just follow me this way, we'll put the things back in. So here's your PS5, you put it down back here, and if you just, um, we just fit the cables back in um, at the back, basically. Uh, so the first one to go back in is the power cable. Not easy doing things one-handed. That's one thing you learn very quickly when you're doing videos. Okay, so then the next thing that goes in is the HDMI, which is that one. Goes in there. Then the next thing that goes in is the ethernet cable because we have fiber broadband, so it's best to keep it all wired. The next thing that goes in is um, an attachment for a game accessory that's over there. So we'll just put that in, the USB thing there. And then finally, we've got this hard drive here that is an SSD as well. It's dusty as heck, but it's got a lot of games on it, mainly PS4 ones, so that goes in there. Then we'll just push the PS5 back onto its stand a bit more. On the front, um, not actually sure what all these are for, but I think it's to do with the PSVR. So there's one that goes in there and there's a USB-C cable um, that goes in there. Um, and that, I think, is used for charging. So if we turn it back on. Hello, Chloe. Sitting in your favorite place. The PlayStation 5 just powers off and back on again. And then, Jaden, do you just want to hold this camera for me? So, every time you unplug the USB extended, uh, the SSD, it asks you to repair it. So you basically just click OK. And then it comes back on again. So you have to repair the USB drive. It's always the same. <laughs> if you ever take the USB SSD drive out of the back of the PS5, it'll always want to repair it afterwards. So this takes forever. So we'll just wait. Uh, I'll turn the video off and wait. Super geeky, but the PS5 now has an M2 SSD storage, which is four terabytes in size. So um, I've moved all the games that Jaden's got already to it, and I've still got quite a lot of space for it. <laughs> so you can also choose um, extended storage, which is just a USB SSD. That's got quite a lot already on it, and the console storage, which is quite free now. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with um, the SSD expansion.